A local business has a different form of adoption and it could even have your name on it. Newslink Indiana's Camille Breck has the story on how a local business is restoring history with the help of the Muncie community. If you can't adopt a pet, why not adopt a map? It was actually really hard to select the map that I wanted because uh, I love them all. Heather Williams, who works at Ball State, adopted a map to give as a gift to her husband. Lenny lived in um, New York for a little while, so um, I got this really neat um, 1920s speakeasy map of Harlem. When you adopt a map from Muncie Map Company, your name appears at the bottom because you paid for the restoration of the map. I was actually really surprised that my name would be on it. Um, I had no idea, um, so that was kind of exciting. Andy Shears, who is the owner of Muncie Map Company, repaired Williams's historical map. Honestly, it's not as hard as a lot of people would think it is. Although Williams already adopted one map, there are still plenty more up for adoption. And we have about 150 more that are up for adoption. Williams is just one of many. She loves that her historical map is a piece of history. It's so awesome you know, to have that tangible piece of history, you know, that you can hold, that you can hang on your wall, um, and that you know I can be a fan of forever. Although Williams's map isn't in the frame and on the wall yet, she said she'll have it done by the end of the year. In Muncie, Camille Breck, Newslink, Indiana. If you want to browse through the maps up for adoption, visit the Muncie Map Company in their store in downtown Muncie at 111 East Adams Street.